Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Saba and today, as you can see, finally Rival event is here in front of Val. And yeah, I'm very very excited about it. We've got 109 overall Marcelo in store. We've got lots of store offers at this point, Gamers Week as well, next day, and there is Rival event. So yeah, we've got so many players, so many reviews that, that are gonna come out in the next few days. And probably like six or seven 24 hours now i'm not sure but anyways if you enjoy this video please go ahead and smash that like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and the notification bell button never miss any more uploads what's going on here okay we've got donnarumma don't really care about them too much we've got even titan guardiola and uh Schwanch tiger don't really care about this either and there are the players from the store what's that oh i guess that's ultimate point right yeah ultimate rival point okay let's check out the a rivalry special, okay, that's just Marcelo. We've got a rivalry event, let's get into it. Let's see what do we have here. Right, let's get into the main chapter first of all, obviously. Okay, Mbappe, thank you, I can figure it out myself. And yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you're excited for this event, because it's, when I look through the guide, it looked a, a lot different than the nor than like normal stuff. We've got Okay, we got yeah the weekly weekly login packs as well. On the seventh day, we are getting free rivals player, which can be one of our overall players, but probably it's just gonna be ninety three to ninety seven overalls. Uh, anyways, here what we got here for five hundred rivalry points, we can get this. Okay, these are just offers, and these are gem or FIFA point offers, right? Yeah, these are gem or FIFA point offers. Here we've got packs for rivalry players. There we go, Maguire, one of our overall Maguire, one of our overall Saka. So many good players, so so many good players. One of our overall uh, Alan as well. So check at one of our overall. All of these card looks very very nice. Stats in stats like all those players stats look very very nice. Fabinho a little bit slow, but defensively and physical wise is great. Maguire again a little bit slow maybe, but. Defensively maxed out pretty much almost and physically is great as well. One or two overall Carl Walker as well looks great. Then we've got Kovacic at center mid. Very nice indeed. We got Lucas Mora. So so many players. It's incredible. Alright, like look at those players. They're just so so many. So many reviews to be uh, so many re reviews to be made in the next few days. McTominay at CDM. Not a bad card for don't think a lot of people are gonna use him, but still. And low overalls, don't, not really a lot of people care about those. One of fours are probably the ones, and one or twos maybe. Then we've got Robertis from La Liga. We've got Kangin Lee. I actually haven't heard of him. Doesn't look the greatest. Shooting is good. Passing is alright. Passing is great as well. Dribbling is good, but he's just a little bit slow. Don't really like him that much. Rodrigo, 140 pace, 127 shooting. He looks like a very, very good card. A right mid, 133 finishing, 136 shot power, 140 dribbling. We've got Borja Iglesias, again, 116 pace, a little bit low for him. But shooting is great, dribbling is all right. We got Alex Berenguer. Haven't heard of him either. But he's... He's not bad, he's not definitely not bad, pretty nice card. 140 dribbling, agility balance, 138 ball control. Parejo is gonna be very slow, yes. Diego Carlos is gonna be a very, very good card to be fair. Porto is gonna be a nice card, in my opinion. A little bit lower shooting than Alex, but still decent. Dembele, Dembele could have been so, so good, but they've given him such bad skill boost that I don't think a lot of people are gonna use him anyways. Was and then, okay. We've got Bundesliga players now. We got Gnabry, Serge Gnabry. Yeah, I mean, so many great players. Hector, 120 pace at CDM. We got Kno Knosh, is that right? Not sure. We got Nyakate, who looks like an incredible card to be fair. He's very fast, good defensively, very, very good physical wise as well. He's 6 with 3, doesn't have power header, but still very, very nice card. And Dikai looks pretty good as well. Of so many good cards, you, we are gonna have so many good choices after this event to play at all of our positions. I don't even know which players to review first. Like, there are just so so many. We got only 100 overall Kimmich at right back as well. That's not great. That's not great. We got Serie A players then. Osimhen. 
Um, shooting 140, finishing 138, shot power is great. 130 pace is good. Dribbling all right, I guess. Perisic at last mid, a little bit slow for a last mid, but shooting is great. Like, yeah, every single one of these cards are, are great. Easy, Izo, sorry. Look at that 140 of the reactions, marking, sliding, tackle, heading. Kodragowski as a goalkeeper, he's 6 feet 2, a little bit short maybe for a goalkeeper. Giasi is a uh, 140 paced player. 131 shot power and 124 long shot as well is decent. Arthur as a center mid, another center mid, another CDM, not really great. Calabria right back, not bad I guess. So many right backs, so many center backs, so many good cards in all positions to be fair. Payet, one of our Ral. I thought he would be a little bit slower. He's pretty fast though. He's pretty fast. Then we've got another goalkeeper, Martinez. We've got Buyanga. Nice guy. Like, I can't say anything else. Like, all these cards are very, very good. This one, finishing a shot power. Long shot are a little bit low. Ikone. Yeah, I mean, great, great cards for all of them. Juan Bernat as well. And then we've got rest of world players. One hand over else. Don't really think many many people care about these ones. Even though that that card looks pretty decent, I guess. Yeah, I mean all of the cards, all the high overall cards are very very good. Even structure, we need to complete that. We've got daily quests and weekly quests as well, I believe. Uh, let's get into it. We are finally back there with a server connection issue. Con yeah, server connection issue. So there we go. We got daily quests for rivalry. A pass course as well as rivalry points and also weekly ones right there for rivalry points which is nice it's not like we don't uh, we are not playing a skill games which is nice we are completing quests which i like a lot i like a lot here we can get just any of these players we i believe go 108 overall players as well so i'm waiting for that i'm, I'm waiting to see that those players as well but I mean, it's taking quite a long time to load, and it's very, very annoying. Right, there we go, finally. Uh, what else we've got here? Nothing much. That's literally it, but so, so many players, it's insane. We've got ultimate arrival list, then uh, that's the next chapter. Here, for ultimate points, we can, uh, we can pretty much get, what, what's that? Oh, these are SBCs or? Yeah, these are SBCs to complete to get one of these players right there. Um, as ultimate travel points, we need ultimate travel points for this as well. Can we get this straight away? I mean, what does that mean? I, I don't think we are supposed to get unlock this straight away. Do we? Are we supposed to get, get these points straight away? Can we get... Or this, oh, these are ultimate points. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I mis mistook it with the normal points. Okay, with that we can get one of the, look at that. How many 107 and how many 108 overall players? Gabriel Jesus. Then we've got Loris. Ansu Fati. I'm very, very excited for that one. I like him a lot in your life. David Silva, a little bit slow, obviously. Hazard. Luke Bacchio. Tomori. Spinazzola, like, come on, man, this is just overwhelming. This is just very, very old, man, overwhelming for me. 138 pace, 136 shooting for Cadeveri. I have, I have never even heard of him. But he's insane. Uribe is insane. Every single one of these cards are insane. Like, I'm not gonna get through all of them. There is Dybala, I can see a striker. There is David, which is nice. Mario Fernandez, he hasn't had a good card so far, so that's good, I guess. It's pacey, like all of these cards are insane. All of these are insane. Then we've got milestones where I mean we've got milestones pretty much. Uh for check we need to acquire ultimate rival points and choose one. Okay, we need to choose one of these after that. I don't think I mean no no, no one cares about any of them, I don't think. Then we got Carlos Pool, who is of course not free to play. For ninth three overall plus Rival player, we need to get claim three rewards in rivals pass, and for two thousand five hundred skill boost, we need to acquire ultimate rival points. Okay, and then we've got uh, rival point milestones right there, and at the end, I believe we can get legendary boosts or shards. Sorry, 
here we can get 102 or 104 raw players so it is very very good i'm very very excited there is a challenge mode but it unlocks in 24 hours but yeah i'm very very excited let me know down in the comment section if you're excited as well but yeah this is gonna be the end of the guys for today if you enjoyed it please go and smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and the notification bell button never miss any more uploads right now take care goodbye and peace